I was uh, living in Muncie, Indiana, which is a very small town in the Midwest. And um, I came to New York for this audition. Now, I had gone to school at Manhattan School of Music, so I had knew New York and, you know, had gotten the formal training, but I had gone to this small town to teach. So I come to New York, and I had bought a case that was touted to be the best cello case you could possibly have, and they said you could throw it from a two-story window and nothing would happen to your instrument. That was the, <laughs> that was the story. So I go into the uh, green room at the New York Philharmonic to audition for Leonard Bernstein, and I put the cello against the wall, and out of the corner of my eye, I see something fall. And I look back, and it was my cello. And I say, oh, I have this great case. Nothing could be wrong. <laughs> Take my coat off, go about my merry way. I open up the cello case, and the neck is severed from the instrument. And <laughs> it was um, such a bizarre thing to happen that I just sort of went out of body, I think. <laughs> I just sort of went oh, this is really strange, now what am I going to do? So I certainly told the personnel manager and he arranged to have a cello for me. They postponed my uh, audition for about 45 minutes so I could practice the new cello and get uh, accustomed to it. And then I played. And it was evidently good enough to go from the what we call the preliminary audition, the first audition, to go to the second round, which is the final audition. So in between, uh, I went to a, a wonderful violin shop, and they loaned me a great Italian instrument by the maker uh, Tononi. And they spent the afternoon putting on new strings, adjusting the sound post, adjusting the bridge, and making it just absolutely suited for me. So. Uh, it might have been a blessing in disguise to have this happen because my instrument was fine but not nearly the caliber of this one. So when I had my regular audition or the final audition on stage, I was able to play a great instrument. Uh, therefore, obviously, a better sound and the whole presentation was on a different level. So, you know, we never know when good things happen out of seemingly bad things. So that was it. And then I got in the orchestra and... Uh, Bernstein was the conductor, and he was the one that chose me. And I was felt, of course, very honored, but also that I was the second woman to get in the orchestra. And the first woman cellist has always been uh, something I have, uh, you know, enjoyed and cherished. In my